A former inmate is suing the Utah Corrections Department. The plaintiff says prison officials knew a policy change would cause gang fights and even had guards in riot gear and nurses on standby. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle spoke with the plaintiff's mother. Now we want to warn you that some of the photos in the story are graphic. These are photos of Jaeger Gleave on November 6, 2019. Earlier that day, he says, he was sliced with a razor during a fight with a rival gang at the prison in Gunnison. He was injured on his head, his chest, his arm, his back, his thumb, and then he had burns on his face from the flash grenade that they shot in. Ronnie Wilcox is Gleave's mother and an advocate for other inmates. My son was set up in a fight by the UDC. That's the Utah Department of Corrections. The lawsuit Gleave filed last week in federal court sues the agency and prison officials over not just the fight, but the elimination of what was called the AB schedule. The schedule was a way to ensure rival gains would not be released from their cells at the same time. Gleave was a gain member in prison for aggravated assault and a probation violation. So what they did is they set it up so that certain gangs would be out on A day, certain gangs would be out on B day. The Department of Corrections eliminated the AB schedule in 2019. That same day, Gleave was brutally attacked. A year and a half later, some rival gangs still recreate with one another. They um, proceeded to announce over the intercom, gentlemen, AB day rec is, AB day is off, you are on section rec which means that they're going to let anybody and everybody out and you're going to have to deal with it. Gleave's lawsuit says the prison version of a SWAT team and medical staff were on standby behind windows on his cell block. As soon as the cell doors on his block slid open, a rival gang ran to Gleave and his cellmate. The fight went on for approximately 20 seconds. Gleave's lawyers obtained video of the fight but declined to provide that video to Fox 13. The lawsuit says the footage shows prison staff standing back as the fight begins, then firing a flash grenade. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to stand there and wait for somebody to assault you? Are you going to back down and watch them assault and kill your, your cellmate? Or are you going to step up and defend yourself and your cellmate? Utah's justice system wasn't understanding. For his role in the fight, Gleave was convicted of a misdemeanor count of rioting. He served an extra five months in prison. Other families have complained about the elimination of the AB schedule too, but a spokeswoman for the Department of Corrections has said violence has declined in the state's two prisons since 2019. That spokeswoman declined to comment on Gleave's lawsuit. And if somebody doesn't stand up and take a stand against these guys, they are bullies and shame on them. Shame on them. Gleave's lawsuit doesn't specify a dollar amount he's seeking. His mother says what they really want are policy changes. Reporting in Draper, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.